All right, guys. So I'm checking in because I've got something a little bit rare on my hands. Um, a little chunk of stone. Well, actually, it's not stone. It's fossilized wood. It's called rainbow fossil, rain butte fossilized wood. And uh, apparently it's quite rare. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. Thought I'd let you watch. I won't talk too much in this, I'll just get on with it. This is a bit of deer antler. It's baking all right. Just need to be aware I might wreck it. I'll have to research where Rain Butte is. I will do that and I'll let you know. It's behaving like stone, which is nice. It's always nice when you get a decent flake off like that. You can turn it into another arrowhead. But primarily I'm going for the one thing, which means that um, I'm taking that out of this core. It's got beautiful colours. I don't know if you can see these. These soft browns, well, chocolate browns, let's call them. Amazing. Incredible. I've napped a few fossilised woods in my life. I think one of the most interesting looking ones was palm wood. Well, pink with little black tunnels going through it. Incredible. But it's not the sort of thing you get every day. And that's really nice. <laughs> Flake. No one thing, what I'm doing right now is something that not many people have had the opportunity to do. The flint itself is a fossilised coral reef system. This is the other way up. Fossilised forest. I'd love to know what sort of silicate matter managed to find its way into wood. 
because um, flint is exoskeletal remains of micro marine organisms. What contributes to the silica in this, eh? So I'll show you the progress so far. Snapping quite sweetly. Some things have a tendency to feel old, and um, I can actually tell you this does. Imagine going hunting with a bit of old tree. <laughs> I've heard of a splinter, but... <laughs> <laughs> the deadliest splinter you ever got. <laughs> Quite nice doing things freehand. Comes a point where I might want to use a pressure flaker on this, but um, what's really nice is uh, these random flake scars that are casting across here. It's just, in some respects, it really adds to its wild beauty. An untrained terrain. As long as them flakes go out and um, they uh, they actually make their journey across the stone so they don't come to anything like what we'd describe as a hinge which means it's got a dirty great big step in the stone and this one is just going really sweet I mean now you might really be able to see some of them colours Pretty in it. So I'll plow on and then I'll show you the finished artifact. <laughs> 